Hey everybody, Don with Brazier Toneworks and thanks for watching. Today's video has to do with some questions I got with regard to wiring up a Les Paul and specifically the dependent and independent volume controls that you can get out of it. I'm going to show you a demonstration of this today with uh, both the modern and the vintage wiring setup. I'm not going to explain again the vintage and the modern or the differences between them. I do have a video out there. It shows you how to wire it up and explains what those are. This is specifically about how you would wire something up for dependent or independent control and what that actually means and does to the guitar. Okay. On a dependent volume control setup, when you have both pickups selected, if you were to turn the volume down on one of the pickups, let's say your bridge pickup, as you turn that off, you would actually shut off both pickups. The volume pickup on the neck is dependent on the bridge pickup's volume and vice versa. Whereas on an independent volume setup, you can actually turn down or turn off the bridge pickup and the neck pickup will still function. So you can think of it as like you're able to blend the two a little bit by using the volume controls. Again, this only applies if you've got the middle uh, selector switch activated, so both pickups together. If you independently choose the bridge, your volume on the neck isn't going to do anything. It's only when you have the two um, active. Okay, so what I'm showing you here is one half of a uh, Les Paul setup. I've got my bridge pickup, I've got the bridge volume, I've got the bridge tone, I've got a three-way switch, and i got the jack. And I kind of have the capacitor and everything all wired in here. And again, you would duplicate this with the neck pickup, uh, but I'm just going to show you one half. It's the same concept. As always, I try to help people by identifying the lugs L1, L2, and L3. makes it a little bit easier. Please keep in mind when you're looking at the tone pot, since they are facing each other, the lug numbering is going to be different, or at least visually it looks different um, as I'm calling it out. Okay, the first drawing I've got here is a modern wiring with dependent volume control setup. So this is one half of, let's say, a modern Les Paul. The dependent volume control, again, means that as I turn the volume down on my bridge pickup here, uh, it's also going to affect the neck pickup. What I've done is I've got my output of my pickup going to lug L1 of the volume pot. I've got a jumper from L1 to L3 of the tone pot, and my output is L2 of my volume to one half of my three-way switch. So again, this is a modern wiring, meaning that the, the way the tone pot is actually connected gives it that modern wiring feel. Uh, with a dependent volume control. Now, if I wanted a vintage wiring scheme with dependent volume control, it's going to look very similar. I've got my pickup output going to L1. I have a jumper from L2 to L3 of my tone control, and my output to the switch is still coming from L2 of the volume. So the difference is my jumper similar to what we've always done with our vintage and modern wiring that's really the difference between them but this because the output to the jack is coming off of lug l2 i'm getting that dependent volume control okay so let's say we want to try something different here i'm showing a modern wiring with independent volume control so for my pickup my output is going to lug l2 or the center lug of the volume pot my jumper is going from l2 to L3 of the tone pot, and my output to my switch is coming from L1 of the volume pot. And lastly, we would have a vintage style wiring with independent volume controls. So from my pickup, I've got my output going to L2, or the center lug again of my volume. I've got a jumper from L1 on the volume pot to L3 of the tone pot, and my actual output is coming from L1 to my three-way switch. Okay, to make this very simple, it goes like this. If your output is coming off of lug L2, or the center lug, you have a dependent volume mod. If it's coming off of L1, you have an independent volume mod. Now, to dovetail right onto this, if your tone input is wired to the volume's input, or the same lug that your pickup wiring is coming to, you have a modern tone mod. If the tone input is wired to the volume pot's output, then you have a 50s or vintage tone mod. Well, there we go. 
Hopefully that gives you some more information on what is really the difference between a dependent and an independent volume control and how you go about setting those up. I don't really go into, like I said, the, the differences between the vintage and the modern wiring. Uh, I have another whole video, and if you're interested, I would encourage you to watch that. This, again, just deals with those volume controls, and it gives you another opportunity to mod your guitar and try something different and see which one works best for you. As always, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully this helps. Uh, if you do have questions, please email me at braziatoneworks at gmail.com. And remember, tone. It's not just a knob, it's sound advice. Thanks.